My connection with the Royal Children's and the Good Friday Appeal is I've got cystic fibrosis. So I was diagnosed with CF when I was a, a baby, really. Um, my parents found out when I was six weeks old. I was in and out of the children's growing up a lot. Connection with them and the Good Friday Appeal is very special because I know, you know, how great of a place it is. And personally, I don't really like riding at any racetrack more than Flemington. It's the pinnacle of our sport. I reckon it's a great partnership with the Royal Children's because it's literally just around the corner. They're in the same area. Great work by the VRC. Like they're putting a lot of time and effort into this partnership with the Good Friday Appeal. It's creating awareness. It's celebrating how great the hospital is and. Having Tom now, you'd know that if something was to go wrong, that they nearly moved the earth to help you. It means a lot, and as I said, I experienced it firsthand, so I get tingles when I drive past the children's because I know that if we didn't have it and, my, and uh, I wasn't kept as healthy as I was as a young kid or a teen growing up, maybe I wouldn't be out here doing what I'm doing today and following my dreams and having a happy, healthy little family. Macram winning the other day at Flemington. No better feeling than riding winners at Flemington, but it was not expected. I thought he'd run well because he's a handy horse, but not only was uh, everyone surprised, but I was also a little bit surprised. He, he's probably the longest shot winner I've ridden. I, I've ridden 100 to 1 shots before, but $151, that's a fair old price. So it doesn't mean much to me because obviously jockeys can't bet and um, I didn't receive any slings if any of the owners are listening out there. It's awesome to ride winners at Flemington. He won really good too. So, you know, you strive to, to be a lead at what you do and in our sport, group ones are the best. It's the best that we can win and the best riders perform in them, the best horses running them. So to get another one means a lot and it sort of makes me realise the first one definitely wasn't a fluke. <laughs> yeah, we had a pretty quiet night, but it was good. I had eight rides the next day at Ballarat, so I had to be pretty sensible. <laughs>